following contest is scheduled for one fall. On the way to the ring, Double A, Amber Armstrong, Archangel Ashley Carter, and Mandy Rose. Absolution. Now time for a huge six-man tag team match. And I can't think of any competitors I'd rather see go at it right now than these six superstars. This one's going to be great. about that antics aside three very talented ladies this So 
to be interesting, guys, as six of WWE's top names square off here. Dropkick with precision. Good golly, what a knee. Raw tag made. Oh, and a kick right to the midsection. Beginning to look bad for her here. And the confidence she came into this six women's tag team match seems to be fading a bit. This is bad, guys. This match is almost trending in the wrong direction for her almost from the opening bell. In 2016, the New Day found themselves in the middle of a sick and twisted rivalry with the Wyatt family. Things escalated to the point where Bray Wyatt invited the New Day to do battle at the Wyatt family compound. New Day accepted, but what followed was something no one expected or will ever be able to forget. Corey, we've talked about six-man tag matches, and earlier you talked about one that caught the attention of the entire sports entertainment world. The New Day fought for survival amongst the darkness of the Wyatt family compound in a battle where pickaxes and cinder blocks were used as weapons and automobiles were used as battering rams. The New Day versus the Wyatts at the Wyatt family compound was not your traditional six-man tag match, but it showed what can happen when issues between factions can't be resolved through a sanctioned WWE match. I'll tell you what, none of the men who fought in that conflict will ever be the same. There are instances when a six-man tag match will feature a team where superstars have not always seen eye to eye or are in the midst of a disagreement. When that's the case, someone on the team must step up and be the voice of reason so the trio can function as a cohesive unit. Suplex! Looks like she's gonna... There it is. She's made the tag. And her partner is on absolute fire right now. Corey, earlier you talked about what needs to happen when members of a six-man team have differences or had differences in the past. If the team can't find a way to get on the same page, they will not last very long. Someone on the team has to step up and make sure for at least that match, everyone on the team can work together. That's easier said than done. Just because superstars might be favorites of the WWE Universe or have a common enemy, that doesn't mean they'll get along. It also doesn't mean that any past issues will magically go away. In this business, people have long memories, so if someone sees an issue on their team, they need to resolve it right away. She's not looking good here, guys. Man, she's got to get herself together here. Oh, what impact.
Mandy Rose has been successful in WWE, but she also has the less than honorable distinction of being the first person eliminated in both the inaugural Women's Royal Rumble and Women's Elimination Chamber. Devastating elbow. She's got two very capable partners in her corner. Now might be a good time to bring one of them in. But it's still early here, guys. It's gonna take a whole heck of a lot more than this to keep her down. So Michael brought up Mandy Rose's lack of success in the Royal Rumble and the Elimination Chamber. But I have to say, she didn't have the luck of the draw in either case. Drawing spot number four in the Rumble and being the first person out of a pod in the Elimination Chamber. Saxton, quit judging Mandy Rose. Only God can judge Mandy Rose, and she's been deemed God's greatest creation. Mandy Rose was the victim of a conspiracy at the Royal Rumble and Elimination Chamber, and she got those bad entrance numbers. When a superstar is in a six-man match, one of the most important things to remember is knowing when to tag out and get the fresh member of your team in the ring. Look out, there's the tag. And that changes the entire outlook for these women, Michael. Hard landing there. Nothing to worry about, just a little misstep on her part. Oh, what a clothesline. Forcefully delivered. She is on fire. Liv Morgan sizing it up. Nailed it. It's heating up now. Oh, no, I don't like Mandy Rose's chances in this one. She gets out of it. She has renewed life now, Michael. We're looking at complete domination here. Axe handle finds its target. Things have gotten worse for Liv Morgan. She could be out of this match. This could spell the beginning to the end for her here in this six-man tag team match. You know, when you step into the ring opposite three of the most dominant women on the roster today, things like this are bound to happen. Warm up the buses, fellas. This one's over. There's no way she can come back from this. Harsh impact. Oh, perfect kick. After a move like here's the cover. The pin's broken up. I can't believe it. She dodges that one. What a stop. Good grief. for a while. Some good technique right there. Look at her go. She's looked. You gotta believe this one's over. That's it. That's what she needed. She might have it. Beautiful technique. This one's over, guys. The night could be over for Liv Morgan.
Oh man, she's rolling now. Jeez. Oof. Looks like she's starting to stumble a bit. She's got two partners in her corner itching to get in there, guys. One of these women has to pull away here eventually. At this point, it looks like it might just be her opponent. Bang! Ryan kick! Now that's what I call making a stick in an early pin attempt by Ruby Riot. The pin's broken up. Uh oh, ah, what a neck breaker. of WWE's most successful competitors for sure. Back in from the floor, inside the ring now. She's so close to make... Look out, there's the tag. And that changes the entire outlook for these women, Michael. Both teams working well here together. That's not always the case in a six-man tag team match. Oftentimes, you see personal agendas eat their way into the action. This is going to be big, one way or another. Look out! Oh, an elbow drop! Oh, piercing elbow. Beautiful technique. And it's reversed. She's starting to feel it. She's got two very capable partners in her corner. Now might be a good time to bring one of them in. You sound surprised, Cole. Come on, think about who she's in there with. This was bound to happen sooner or later. Her opponent has been looking for an opening for quite some time, and she may have finally found it here, guys. Logan was just able to get out of the way there. When she gets an attack mode, look out. She right across the back of the neck. If that doesn't end it, I don't know what will. She's calling her out. Oh, nasty impact. She wants to do this in the ring. Oh, and a, oh, a backbreaker. Right to the spine. She looked like she had no chance just a few moments ago. Dominating shoulder tackle. Sarah Logan has to find a way to get back on offense. The six-man match may have taken it all out of her. That's over at this point. Well, her chances certainly are looking bleak right now, guys. But as long as she's breathing, I expect her to fight. That's just the kind of competitor she is. match so far guys but it looks to me like we're possibly nearing the end here 
She goes for the cover. One, two, Bulldog! Six, what a six-man tag match. We've got some time to take another look at some of the highlights from that one. Some pretty good give and take in this match, as these highlights show. This match wasn't exactly a barn burner, but we can't expect every superstar to be on their A game every time, I guess. The superstars in this one got after it pretty good from the opening belt. Can't complain about the effort, technical proficiency, Here or result. Here are your winners, Double A, Amber Armstrong, Archangel Ashley Carter, and Mandy Rose. Absolution. That's a win worth celebrating. Now you just got to take the win and build off it. And that's the kind.